Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Noor Elizayu Binti Mawai Jamka. I'm student under Faculty of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Technology. I'm studying in Bachelor of Electronic Engineering Technology in Telecommunications. And my lovely supervisor named Dr. Ida Shafiza Binti Maisa. From this video, I will show about introduction and problem statement, project objective, scope of project, methodology, initial result, and conclusion. For introduction, election control system is broadly applied in commercial, industrial, and residential space to manage both in both indoor and outdoor lighting. IoT is Internet of Things. It's a network of physical and digital device equipment and items that may be used to monitor and control a range of things in the environment, including building which, us, which, which use the majority in many countries. The purpose is to build uh, a effective and energy efficient lighting system by detecting the current lighting, current lighting environment and altering the light appropriately. A lighting control system will be created to govern lighting switching in a building depending on the presence of human and the intensity of light. So the next slide is for problem statement is economy is now experiencing a severe energy crisis, while individual have grown lack in their use of available energy, and sometimes people often forget to switch off lamp. For the project objective, uh, the main aim of this project is to build a electric control system target for energy efficiency. Specifically, the objective are as follow. First, to develop an IoT-based lighting control system for energy efficient smart building using Arduino. And the second is to evaluate the perform of the developed system in terms of its reliability in real environment and last objective is to evaluate the energy consumption in the building which the developed system and the next okay scope of project uh, consists of two parts uh, which is uh, hardware and software the hardware section uses a uh, main component, which is Arduino Uno and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, PIR sensor and LDR sensor. Scene of software using Arduino IDE and the Blink application. Um, PIR sensor will detect some white entering at at the end, at the same time, uh, the LDR sensor will detect the light in intensity. For example, if light intensity more than seventy percent, the light will off. While if the light, while if the light will on. After that, if the person leave the room, PIR, PIR sensor detect no one in the room, and the light will be off. The system can be controlled using Blink application. Okay, for the part methodology, uh, when the people come in the room, the PRR sensor will detect presence of people, and if yes, the LDR detect light intensity more than seventy percent, and then. If yes, like off. While the uh, while the present people, if no, like off. And then, if intensity more than seventy percent, no, 
the light will on. After that, uh, the output will send data via Wi-Fi model to Blink application and stuff. Okay, and then for the hardware part, uh, the input as PIR sensor and RDR sensor, and the process is ESP eight two six six Wi-Fi module and Arduino Uno, and the output is LCD display. Uh, and the process will transfer to software is application blink uh, that's all for methodology I, hi and assalamualaikum I will show the initial result for PDP1 um, actually uh, for the result uh, totally not same wish what I should do um, so the component I use Arduino Uno, LED, logic toggle, motor servo, PIR sensor, resistor, and LDR sensor. Okay, and then we should the uh, we should uh, construct the coding using Arduino IDE to put in the Arduino, and, and then we code we set the if um PR, PIR state height and LDR if PIR sensor have present human the and lights intensity more than 100 the LED uh, will on uh, after that if PIR sensor have presence human and light intensity low than 100 the LED also on and then if PIR no present human and light intensi intensity more than 100 LED also on um, and the else is off and then we should uh, verify the coding uh, when it have done we should find the file in hex and then we copy the file and Put in Arduino and then for the PIR we should insert the PIR sensor dot hex and then we run we can see when the light the light uh, Close to which LDR sensor, the LED will on. And then, if we and then when we press the to logic toggle, uh, the LED also right, and servo motor will rotate 100, 180. Uh, that's all for uh, that's all the initial from me thank you okay for the um, last slide in conclusion the expected result of this project is when the main sensor part of this project can prove that the system will run successfully. Although the preliminary results are not same as the
posture is identified tight but next step may be be able to develop of the project entirely based on the flowchart. Um, finally, this technology has the potential to solve energy efficiency problem. Uh, there are many use for smart building and they have many advantage. One of them is they increase the efficiency of the building because PIR sensor and LDR sensor help optimize energy consumption. Thank you for for the see my video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.